Hey everybody, welcome back to another Random Sam Epic Mom. And it is time for another book review. And today we're going to go over Grace Goodwin. Um, if you guys haven't read her, please give her a shot. Um, this is <laughs> another one of those alien bride things. So, in this one, Assigned a Mate, bride program, um, Earth is pretty much been discovered. We're in danger of being invaded. Um, but this collective of planets has decided, okay, we're going to give you protection, but you got to have, you know, a certain number of women who, you know, sign up for the bride program. And all these aliens in space, they have, um, <clears throat> they go in once they've earned, you know, the privilege of asking for a bride, if they haven't met one of their own, um, they get to... <laughs> Um, be matched up by this high tech, you know, perfect match. They always find the perfect match. While on Earth, um, women who are convicted of a crime are given the option of serving their time in prison or becoming a bride. Other women are also given the option of just volunteering. And just so some of you out there don't get mad, even men can volunteer and all that, whatever. In this story, though, uh, Eve has <laughs> been p matched to a counselor on another planet. The planet is Tryon. It's kind of a desert planet and everything. Everybody's kind of pretty tense. Um, as far as everybody's concerned, she's a convicted um, felon. So, kind of, you know, kind of puts her in a bad situation and all that. Everybody kind of judging her. And what she really is, is in Witness Protection Program. And the FBI thinking it's smart, we're going to put her in this bride program and then we'll just send her, bring her back so she can be, because she's a witness and such. She was a doctor. And all these people are, they're not aware of it. She's found her perfect match doing that. But the bride program doesn't know that they've been using them. So she's going to fall in love with this counselor, truck, or I'm sorry, Tark. Sorry. Can't seem to speak today. So she's going to be matched up to Council Mintark, and eventually they're going to send her back because she needs to testify. Because she was on a different name, all that, uh, they don't have any of her information. But after having that time with Counselor, who actually is her perfect mate, uh, she's discovered that, you know, she wants to give up life on Earth. She could be on Earth, she could continue to live her life, be a doctor, all that. Instead, because of it, she's going to have to choose. Does she stay on Earth or does she go back to try on and be with her mate? And this is just so funny because it's all about, you know, humans not really knowing what's out there. Just so much confusion and everything. And throughout the series, you'll see a whole bunch of, you know, men and women who volunteer to go out in space and fight, you know, the bad guys out there. And yet, these women who decide to be brides, they're having to go to a whole new uh, planet, you know, whole new customs. Everything is different. The aliens are different. And the women who end up choosing this, whether they're because they were convicted felons, who wasn't really a, was in the witness protection program, or just women trying to have a new start. These women are unbelievably brave. Even if they don't think they're brave themselves, they are so brave and open to new things. And I love the characters in here. You know, every, I've, I've read this whole series and the next series and they're awesome books. And more than anything, um, I like that in her books, it's not just one type of alien, it's a coalition of planets. So it's all these different types of races, intermingled races, <clears throat> and people having to get together a fight together for the um, continuing existence of society uh, for the universe and all these people who are trying to accept Earth's you know weird things and Earthlings who compared to the rest of the galaxy we're very primitive we're very you know backwards on our priorities and in the rest of the galaxy <clears throat> most women don't fight there will be fighters who go out and fight and it's going to find throughout the stories, uh, not just this first book, but in all of her stories, people are going to see Earth women 
change everything. We're going to bring a whole new variable to the equation. <coughs> We're pretty much going to make it so that everybody's not only shocked, but appreciative. Because again, throughout the galaxy, women for the most part are treasured and considered, you know, a gift. So to have a society where that happens to be the case, but... You know, women on Earth are used to, you gotta stay on your own two feet, you gotta do this, you know. We're kind of living in a crazy society right now where women aren't completely cherished and, you know, appreciated. But then again, nobody is. So, but it's, I love these stories because, again, it's a little bit of fantasy, but you could imagine doing it yourself. And the characters <clears throat> are not just one type of character. They're very different. They vary from book to book. And it gives you an idea of what it could be like because these are people who could be your friends, these are people that you might have met, but you can imagine knowing the people in these stories. And it's just so cool to imagine going to another planet, going to a completely different environment, different society norms, and having everything that you've been taught changed. And not only that, but we as a society, <clears throat> we're very dependent on our creature comforts, with our technology and to go from having what we have now to just a million times more advanced and easy it's just it's mind-blowing so again if you guys get a chance please give grace goodwin a try her books are great uh the first one as i said is assigned a mate a uh, whole bunch of books great books so please go out give them a try they're worth reading and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Hey, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. Please check out our other videos already on YouTube. And give us a like and subscribe. And if you hit that bell for notifications, you'll know when we put something new out. So try to make everyday matter by finding the fun. You guys have a great one. Bye.